Hi everyone, Cheryl here. I wanted to share with you um, a project that I finished up for a challenge. Um, <clears throat> so this is for a challenge um, hosted by Lydia, which is I Triple Dog Dare You here on YouTube. So hi Lydia and thanks for um, this challenge. I had a lot of fun. So for her challenge, you had to create either a tag, a card, or a layout. And they could be any size. Um, you know, whichever size you wanted to do. But for um, the challenge, what she needed you to do was you had to include layering. She wanted to see layering. She wanted to see lace, ribbon, or trims, three or more flowers, and then a vintage image or stamped image. So <clears throat> I made a tag. So let me share with you the paper stacks that I used first um, before I get into that because I'm notorious for forgetting. Um, so I used the um, DCWV stack, um, the Midnight Spell stack. And this is an old collection. I think this may be about two years old. Two, yeah, one or two years old. But it's really, really pretty. I really, really like the colors in here. Okay. So, um, again, the DCWV, the Midnight Spell Stack. So I use this. And then I also use the Tim Holtz Ideology um, Halloween Haunt Stack. And I got this from um, Hobby Lobby in one of my hauls earlier this year. So really, really pretty. And this is what I used for um, the vintage image because they had some really cool um, images in there. Okay, so um, my tag is rather large. It is nine by four and a half. But here it is. It is so super cool. I love, 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 love the way this turned out. So let me go ahead and um, share with you the, um, the tag. It is um, chipboard is the base and then there's black cardstock. Um, right here is some um, iridescent ribbon that I used to tie it with. Um, I hope, there we go, the camera picks it up because it is iridescent on the ends. So um, again, as I said before, it is some um, chipboard, then black cardstock, and then here is a piece from the collection. And then as we travel further down, here is some black cardstock again, and it's just punched with the Martha Stewart punch. This is a spiderweb punch. And then there is um, another piece from the collection right here. And then this right here is some flat back pearl trim. And that's the same on both sides. Um, I'll get to this in one minute. <laughs> here is a hand um, that I got from Michaels. And then there are three flowers, one, two, three. The two right here on the edge, these are, well, all the flowers are Sockcraft flowers. But the two on the edge, um, they were white, pink, and white, and then pink was in the middle. And what I did was I inked all of the edges on those two flowers with black soot. And then I put crystal stickles on them to make them pop. And they turned out so super cute. I love the way those look. Here's a look at the other one. And then for the flower in the middle, the orange flower, this one I just put diamond stickles on. And that one turned out super cute. This right here is actually a ribbon. It's like some black mesh ribbon, I think, um, that I got from Michael's, I believe, last year. It's actually some Halloween ribbon that I bought, and it's wired. So what I did was I just folded it, tied it in the middle, and then shaped it to form, you know, kind of like this flower here. Um, because I wanted the hand to um, kind of like look like this was almost, you know, like a corsage or whatever along the hand. And so that's there. Ooh, ooh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to shake the camera. Um, now, for this piece, this actually just comes out and the hand holds it in place. This piece right here that says Venom, that is um, from a Recollections Border um, stack and I got that last year as well. So it looks um, like this. So there's just a bunch of different sayings on this. Okay, And then also, this pumpkins right here that go along the side, these also came from the same stack. Um, so here's what came in the stack. Sorry for the glare. Oops. Okay. So those are the only two pieces though. The, um, this, uh, piece, the stack like this, the one that looked like this, and then the pumpkins. Those are the only two that I used from that. So this is a belly band. So this just slides right off and it's just black cardstock and then this, um, banner piece that goes over it. And then this little booklet here um, just opens up. <clears throat> so let me see if I can get you guys to see the image, okay? And then it just opens up like this. Here's another one and here's another one. 
And then um, again, this is black cardstock here. And then it is um, another piece from the DCWB collection. And then this is from the, these are from the Tim Holtz collection, okay? And then you flip it over and then again, it's the same thing, just more um, images. This image is really cool, but because of the glare, you can't really see it that well, but it's really nice. And then again, here's another image and then another one. Sorry, I hope you guys did not hear that. My stomach is growling like crazy. Um, so again, you know, the black card stock for the base, another piece from the collection, and then um, the um, DCWB collection and the Tim Holtz collection, okay? And so um, it just slides right back on to the belly band, and then you slip this right behind the hand. Love, love, love how this side of the tag turned out. So super cute. I love that hand. Okay, so when you flip it over, oops, it fell out. Sorry about that. So when you flip it over, give me one second. Let me pick that up. Okay, so when you flip it over on the other side, um, this is what this side looks like. And there's a little ribbon slider here, and that's um, purple. And so this is another piece from that border stack. It just says Toxic Tonic. And then for here, there are two tags right here. And then here is a little pocket that I made and um, black card stock for the base. And then another piece from the DCWV collection. This is a tag from the DCWV collection. Here is some black ribbon and then some bling trim here and here. And then this is a Recollections Pearl. And then the Drippy Glue drippy goo punch <laughs> okay and now for um, the tags these come right out and then this is the way that this looks this paper was so super pretty love the way that looks okay and now here's the two tags that I made this one um, black card stock again and then um, paper from the collection this is some Chinese braid trim here is a um, piece from the collection I just punched it out because I wanted it to be a circle instead of a square. And it just says, I'm not scared. And so the Martha Stewart punch along the corners, um, the spider web, and you flip it over and that's another piece from the collection. Here's another one. And then here's the other one. So again, I really, 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 really love how this turned out. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, <clears throat> this is my very first tag. I've never made a tag before, but I do really like how this turned out. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I hope I <laughs> did well. Um, and thanks for hosting the challenge, Lydia. Her, um, uh, giveaway for the challenge is really, really, um, sweet. <laughs> it's a really, really good giveaway, guys. So if you have not um, had a chance to enter, please check her out. I'll make sure that I leave a link in the description box below for you guys to see. And you guys have a great weekend and hopefully I'll be back soon to share with you guys another project. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.